resorts uh, for skiers and snowboarders, but CDOT's asking everyone to go ahead and stay an extra night in the high country if you can. Do not try to make the trek home in these treacherous driving conditions. Yeah, you heard Tamara just a few minutes ago saying that exact thing. Denver 7's Patrick Perez in Georgetown tonight. Patrick, some tourists to Colorado were shocked to see this storm, needless to say. <laughs> Yeah, to be fair, Gary, I think we all were shocked. I mean, if you tuned in this morning, you may remember seeing this entire parking lot covered in snow. The cars had about a foot of snow on top of them. And yeah, OK, we have a little break in the snow now, but still it was a big concern, not just for the skiers trying to head up into the mountains, but just for the people driving through here. This is insane. I've never seen anything like this. A big March storm came as a surprise to some guests in Georgetown. I think it snowed like a foot and a half. At least Martin Breyer planned to go skiing on Sunday. His concern was getting there safely. I'm worried about getting stuck on 70, but uh, I think uh, I'm going to risk it for the pow biscuit. It's a risk Peter was also willing to take. I don't know if you can see that right here. 15 inches from uh, nine o'clock, eight o'clock last night. He wasn't too worried about getting up to Loveland ski area, just more worried about other inexperienced drivers getting around. In the lunchroom in there getting coffee, a concerned woman from Dallas on spring break didn't check the weather and is here and worried about what to do when I told her to stay put. I don't think she's going to go skiing today. The conditions on I-70 put a pause on some road trips like this family trying to get back to Kansas from Las Vegas. Last night around 5, 6 p.m. it really became dangerous, you know, it was really, really bad. They had to hunker down for the night hoping the weather improves. Yeah, we are not prepared, obviously. <laughs> I don't think a lot of us were prepared for this, but I know again, we're seeing a break in the snow right now, but we're still expected to receive at least another foot or two of snow here in Georgetown, along with the I-70 mountain corridor. So keep that in mind. If for some reason you have any plans to maybe head out here, the roads are still really dangerous. I mean, probably I want to say five hours ago, we saw a sedan, a Nissan sedan, try to get onto I-75. They got stuck in the snow. The photographer Leah got out of the car, tried to push the car could not help them. They had to reverse. So you don't want to end up in that situation. But that's the latest here in Georgetown. I'm Patrick Perez, Denver 7. Yeah, Stacey Donaldson right said 20 inches in Georgetown. We expect that's probably a lot higher by the next total.